Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope you're rejoicing with me. Welcome to today's broadcast. We're so glad that you decided to join us today. I know that you're going to be blessed with our music today. It's going to touch your heart. Plus, you'll be encouraged and edified and touched by the preaching or teaching of the Word of God. And at the end of our broadcast, we're going to be praying a special prayer just for you. We're so glad that you're with us, so stay right there. We're going to get started with this exciting program right after this. Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith. If you hadn't gotten your copy of My Sins Are Gone, you are missing a treat. I tell you, this is a wonderful, wonderful CD that we have just finished a few months ago. We're getting wonderful responses of how good this music is and how it has been blessing others around the country. You want to get your copy today and you can do so by going to www.dudleysmith.net. On this CD there's such songs as My Sins Are Gone, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, Oh I Want to See Him, Oh and many many more and I guarantee you you'll listen to this CD over and over and over again. Get this CD and play it in your house. I guarantee you it'll bring peace in your home and just bless the lives of those that listen with you. Go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and get your copy today and I tell you, we look forward to hearing from you.
Well, glory to God. So glad that you're back with us today on this edition of the Abiding Word Broadcast. Praise God. And I pray and hope that you have really been blessed by watching our program, Glory to God. God has allowed us to come on uh, the air, Glory to God, and, 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 and just share with you our heart and His heart. God wants to touch your life. He wants to give you a miracle. He wants to show Himself to be God of all. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God that He is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm here to report to you today that no matter what you're facing, that God has a miracle for you today. Glory to God. He promised me that if we begin to preach on healing and deliverance, hallelujah to God, that he would move in your lives. And I believe that God is doing it. We're already beginning to get testimonies of folk being healed and delivered and, 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 and set free by the power of God. And if you're watching this program today, I'm telling you, you might as well get ready for yours. If you need a miracle, a blessing, a breakthrough, you might as well get ready for yours. Glory to God. I had an old friend, hallelujah, who's gone on to be with the Lord, and I loved him uh, uh, very much. Praise, praise the name of Jesus. I had only limited time, really, with him, but my God, he impacted my life. R.W. Shamba used to always say, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. And I'm here to express that sentiment again today, that all you need is faith in God and, and uh, above all and anything that you may face. Hallelujah. Every situation that is in your life, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. And if you'll unleash your faith today, God will not disappoint you. Praise God. He will give you the desire of your heart as you delight yourself in him and let him see your faith. Tell that devil today, I, I, despite all, I'm going to believe God. Hallelujah to God forevermore. And God will work you out a miracle. I know what I know. Praise the name of God. We've been talking about uh, 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 Jairus who besought Jesus for the healing of, of his daughter. Praise the name of God. And in our last session, we talked about how Jairus came and he uh, fell at Jesus' feet. Glory to God. Glory to God. And he was, he was at the end of himself. Glory to God. And he fell down in a posture of worship. Glory to God. Understanding and respecting the authority of Christ in spiritual matters. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee got to bow. Hallelujah to God. You know what that means? That means that sickness and disease has to bow. Hallelujah to God. That means that every kind of bondage known to man has to bow the knee. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Because Jesus has been given all authority both in heaven and in earth. All power is given unto him. Praise God. Hallelujah. So all these things have to bow down themselves to Christ, praise God. And when Jesus speaks, my God, hallelujah to God, my God, something will happen. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Now, so now we find, hallelujah, Jairus is at, is at the place now. He's beseeching Jesus Christ to come to his house. Praise God. He's making some wonderful confessions and uh, some wonderful certainties in his own heart, Jesus, uh, Jairus is. Glory to God. That if Jesus would come to his house, uh, uh, that his daughter may be healed, praise the name of God, hallelujah, and she shall live, he says, praise God. He was making a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, confession, praise the name of God. He had a, 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 a great resolve of faith in Jesus Christ, hallelujah to God. Not worrying about, hallelujah, how bad the situation was or seemed, hallelujah. He just knew that if Jesus came to his house and laid hands on her that she would be healed. Glory to God forevermore. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And she shall live, he says. Glory to God. You need to declare, glory to God, in the face of your circumstance and situation that you're going to live. You're not going to die. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. In our presence now to work you out a miracle. I know 
what I know. Glory to God, because he's a miracle working God. God is a miracle working God, and he is also no respect of person. And if he can do it, hallelujah to God for J. Iris' daughter, hallelujah, he can do it for you. Praise God. If he can do it, hallelujah to God for those that, uh, that, that, that were in that day that Jesus touched, he can do it today. Praise God. He's done it for others. Hallelujah. He'll do it for you if you just simply believe him. That's all you got to do. Just simply believe him. Glory to God. He's ready to give you that miracle right now. You'll just stretch out your faith and believe him <clears throat> for it. Praise the name of God. He said she shall live. Glory to God forevermore. So Jesus did something. Hallelujah. That we would normally do when he sees that kind of faith. He went with him. Glory to God. And not only did he go with him. Praise God. But there's a whole bunch of people that went with him as well because they just followed him everywhere. Hallelujah. Jesus was an action man. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. I believe that Jesus, my God, hallelujah, was an action man. Hallelujah. Things happened when he showed up. Praise the name of God. When Jesus shows up in your life, things ought to take place. Praise the name of Jesus. When he shows up in your life, things ought to change for your good. Hallelujah. All things work together for good for them that love the Lord. We know that. Hallelujah. Boy, but I like when Jesus shows up because stuff is getting ready to happen. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Things are getting ready to happen. Praise God. And so he was going and went and, 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 and in the midst of going, there was uh, another scenario to, uh, took place, praise God, about uh, the woman with the issue of blood. But we don't want to talk about that. We'll come back to that in another program, praise God. But we know pretty much what the story is, praise God, how she touched the hem of his garment and was made whole. But the fact of the matter is this. Jesus was on his way, glory to God, to take care of something else. Hallelujah, when the woman with the issue of blood uh, scenario happened. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. She got healed. Praise God. And as I said, we'll talk about that in another program. But I want to continue with J. Iris' story because it is quite interesting here. Praise God. The Bible says in verse 35 of Mark chapter 5, and we'll read, praise God, from uh, verse 35 to uh, verse 42. Praise God. While he yet spake, there came from the rulers of the synagogue to how certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any farther? And as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and John, the brother uh, of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogues, and See the tall mountain, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was coming, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And, the, and, and they laughed him to scorn, but when, they had put, but when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Talitha kumai, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say thee, Arise, and straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of, a, uh, of the age of 12 years, and they were astonished with great astonishment. Praise God. You know, while you're believing, you know, people will bring you a bad report about your own situation. Glory to God. How many times have people say, well, I don't know why you're praying anymore. Uh, you need to quit because that's a done thing. It is what it is. Praise God. Glory to God. But I like, I like this part of, uh, uh, of, of church vernacular. Glory to God. That says that it's not over until Jesus says it's over. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. It wasn't done yet. What we call done sometimes. Hallelujah. God is just getting started. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. When we've done all we can do, we can't do no more. Glory to God. God takes over. Praise God. There was certainly a, a situation where God really had to take over uh, this uh, uh, this uh, situation. Praise the name of Jesus. They come and they said that daughter is dead. Don't even bother Jesus anymore. Don't even waste his time of coming, uh, bringing him to the house uh, uh, because the the girl uh, she died. She died. She, she's already dead. But you know this tells me something that not even death. Hallelujah, can stop the hand of God. 
<laughs> Hallelujah to God. Not even death. Hallelujah. Think, praise God, that it is over. Not even the death. My God. The death, hallelujah, of this child was enough to turn Jesus away. <laughs> Your situation may seem in dire and dire and dire uh, a circumstance right now. Hallelujah to God. But it will not deter. It doesn't discourage Christ. It doesn't discourage God. It doesn't uh, deter God. Nothing is too hard for God. If God, hallelujah, know how to call life from nothing, hallelujah, he can certainly call life, hallelujah, from the pits of death. Hallelujah to God. He can raise the dead. Are you hearing me? Praise God. I've read many accounts of where Jesus raised the dead. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Where God raised the dead. Hallelujah to God. Jesus certainly raised the dead. Praise God. But God raised the dead. He, hallelujah. Even uh, 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 in, in modern times, I've, I've heard and, 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 and actually witnessed a man being raised from the dead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, that's the kind of God we serve. He's all powerful. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. The Bible says that when Jesus heard the word he spoke, uh, that was spoken, he said uh, to the ruler, hallelujah, talking to Jairus, he said, be not afraid. Why do we have so much fear today? Are we fearful that uh, uh, in believing in Christ that we're going to be embarrassed because we don't get our, our miracle? Jesus said, don't even give a thought to that. Don't even get a thought to that because Jesus never fails. Did you get that? He never fails and he'll never fail for you. If you simply believe, if you simply trust him, he'll never fail for you. Glory to God forevermore. He said, be not afraid. The only thing that he wants you to do is keep on believing. Keep on believing. God will answer prayer. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. We just got to keep on believing and never let fear and doubt and unbelief enter into our heart. No matter how hard the situation we face is, keep on believing. Glory to God. I like what Job said. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he's killing me, yet will I trust him. Though he's allowing me to go through this, yet will I trust trust him. That's the way we have to believe. Glory to God. Praise the name of God. Our faith must be a resilient faith, a, 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 a non-giving up faith, a, a, an untemporary faith, but a permanent faith that we're going to believe till the day we die. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And if you keep believing, you will receive your miracle, your breakthrough. Praise God. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how long you've been suffering the way you've been suffering. You've been bound up the way you've been bound up. Keep believing Jesus. Praise the name of God. And he'll give you his a miracle just for you. His grace and mercy will begin to go to work in your life. If you just keep on believing. Hallelujah. Only believe, he told Jairus. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. And when he heard how doubt and unbelief spoke, praise God, he suffered that no one else followed him. Okay, crowd, I know you've been following me around. Praise God. We just come through uh, uh, just such a, uh, 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 an area where uh, there were many people and somebody got healed and boy, just things are happening. But I'm going to have to ask doubt and unbelief to stay back. Why did he do that? I believe that he did that, praise God, because there were a lot of curiosity seekers and a lot of onlookers that were, was there, praise God, not out of a sincere heart, praise God, but they was treating this like it was some kind of circus. Glory to God, glory to God. Uh, uh, they want to see what kind of magic was going to happen next. Praise God, glory to God. Everybody that's following your situation don't believe like you. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Sometimes you got to believe despite of the crowd and what they say and what they report. Glory to God. You got to have a resolve, hallelujah, that if nobody else trusts God for my situation, I'm going to trust him for my situation. Glory to God. He told those doubters and, and unbelievers, glory to God, that, that we're not sincere in heart, glory to God. Uh, uh, stay back now. I'm just, I'm just, let, just let Peter, James, and John uh, come with me. I know these boys. Glory to God. They walk with me. They've seen my miracle. They trust in me. They've been with me every step of the way since I started 
uh, my ministry. Glory to God. That's what they said. And I want faith to come with me. Hallelujah to God. Sometimes, glory to God, you've got to get rid of everything that's not faith. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And have nothing but faith. Glory to God. People, hallelujah, believing with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that as they come to the house of the rulers of the synagogue, they see this great tumult. They were having the funeral. They were having the, the weepers and the wailers that were there. Praise God. In that day and time, they hired people to mourn. They hired people to wail and to weep. They hired. That was their job. Praise God. Can you imagine having that kind of job today? What do you do for a living? Well, I cry. <laughs> but, you know, uh, when you look at that, that's what some pe people do while they're living. All they do is cry. All they do is weep. Praise God. When they, sh when they should be having faith. Hallelujah. Believing and expecting God to turn this situation around. Let's not be one of those folk. Hallelujah. That's wailing and that's weeping greatly and oh, woe is me and no, and, and, and all is in despair. Glory to God. Get rid of that mentality for you. Quit believing that God don't love you. The devil lied to you today and told you that God doesn't love you. God loves you and he's ready to touch your life right now. I know what I know. Praise the name of Jesus. They were wailing and they were weeping and they were having a funeral. Glory to God. And when, when Jesus came in and, 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 and he said unto them, why are, you, why are you making all this racket? Why are you making all this ado? Why are you having all this? this you're having a funeral. Why are, you, why are you doing that? Praise the name of Jesus. And he spoke something that just really threw him off. He said, hey, this girl ain't dead. This child isn't dead. Glory to God. But sleep it. Because Jesus spoke from his perspective. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Death is nothing but a sleep from Jesus' perspective. Are you hearing me? Praise the name of God. Glory to God. If we look at death that way, it's nothing but sleep. Praise God. We lay down, we sleep with our fathers. The Bible used that term a lot. Hallelujah to God. We go into our eternal rest. Praise the name of God. I like to think of death as a door to eternity. Glory to God. To the next reality. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And only Christ, only God, hallelujah, has the power to call us, glory to God, out of a sleep, out of that kind of sleep. Praise the name of Jesus. She sleepeth. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. He looks at our situation differently than we look at our situation. He looks at our circumstance. He looks at our problem differently than we look at it. We look at our problem from an earthly human perspective, but Jesus looks at our problem, hallelujah, from a godly pers uh, perspective, hallelujah. He looks at it as uh, from a, a, a perspective of one having authority, one that can do something about it, glory to God, one that has been given all power, praise God, to do something about it. That's how he looks at our circumstance. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. God help us to see our circumstance from your perspective. Hallelujah to God. That is nothing too hard for you. You can do anything. You can do anything and you will do anything, God, if we'll just believe. Praise God. If we'll just believe for a miracle, he can do anything. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Quit the despairing. Quit worrying. Quit doubting. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Do not fear in what you face. Hallelujah. But have faith. Replace fear with faith. Did you hear what I say? Replace fear with faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you, you'll see in your miracle. Hallelujah. You're getting ready to get a miracle in a minute. Hallelujah. That breakthrough is on the way. The manifest manifestation is right there. Stretch out your faith. Hallelujah. Believe only. Hallelujah to God. Are you believing? Are you trusting? Are you blessed? Are, 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 are you are having, uh, do you have complete confidence and resolve in God? Glory to the Lamb forevermore. Reach out for that miracle right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, I speak healing. I speak deliverance, hallelujah, right now. Glory to God. Father, let the, the, the healing virtue that flow from Calvary flow to these right now, God. Lord, by your power, your Holy Spirit, break the bondages that are in some individuals live right now, those that will believe God, do work, God, because they're, they're believing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Let your faith soar. Let your faith rise up. Praise the name of Jesus. Let your faith, glory to God, take you to the place to where you receive from God. Well, it seems like our time has come and gone, and we hope that you are blessed by the program today. I want to take a moment and pray for you for your special uh, a need right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God. We can come boldly into the throne room and make our petition known, God. Right now, God, I ask, God, that those that need a healing, that you would touch them right now. Somebody's believing you right now, God. Somebody is trusting you for a breakthrough and a miracle in their life. Perform that right now, Father. Lord, we put our faith in you and your word and your promises, Father, for we know that you shall perform that even right now. God, we thank you, Lord, for all of these blessings, God, that you're doing in the lives of your people. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to thank you so much again for being with us today. Now, if this program has been a blessing to you in any way uh, or form, we would like to hear from you. Praise God. Now, you can email us at dudleysmith at billsouth.net. That's dudleysmith at billsouth.net. Or if you prefer, you can write us at Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239. That's Goldsboro, North Carolina. That's Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina. The zip is 27532. We'd like to hear your testimony. Praise the name of God. Now remember, any of the programs, uh, advertisement uh, concerning our books uh, and our music, can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. Praise God. Join us again for another edition of The Abiding Word. We love you. May God bless you. Today is our prayer. One of the biggest advancements in the computer age is the ability to download music right to your iPod, iPad, desktop, even your phone. Evangelist Dudley Smith has more than 150 songs available for digital download, and you can find them at www.cdbaby.com. Each song can be used to enhance your music library, or maybe even for ringtones on your phone. Go to cdbaby.com today and start filling your library with great music from Dudley Smith. We hope to hear from you shortly.